done. Meme review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of that sweet, sweet gun meme goodness. We have plenty of meme threads for you guys this week, from Elon buying Twitter, to me being deleted off of Instagram and born again, and also Grantham made an oopsie hole. All this and more, so without further ado, let's get into the memes. So after claiming that the platform had a problem with free speech, which, let's face it, no social media platform has a problem with free speech, am I right, guys? Elon Musk has put in a bid for $44 billion to buy Twitter. And to the terror of blue hairs everywhere, it's free speech time. Some say that if you listen closely, you can still hear their screams. Elon, quick to capitalize on all of the media attention, came out with a couple more hot takes on Twitter. Such as, next I'm going to buy Coca-Cola and put the cocaine back in. Which got him unanimous support from all of the engineers at Caltech. Of course, once he said this, the memes were everywhere and the gun industry was, of course, no exception. Next, I will purchase the ATF and turn it into a convenience store. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. It's got a nice ring to it. As a convenience store, that is. As a vinyl wrap on the black SUV outside of your house, not so much. For my next move, I'm buying Keltec and upping their crack budget. Well, come on, man, we've just gone over this. All you have to do is make sure they have a steady supply of new Coca-Cola. New Coke, if you will. Elon Musk Cola, if you will. I'm working on it. Seriously, the, the memes about cocaine and the Caltech uh, R&D department are not that far off the mark. I own several Caltechs myself, and I don't think I actually like a single one of them. Yet I can't stop buying them for some reason. It's like I've got a Caltech addiction or something. It's like there's something in the Caltech that I just can't. Oh no. I think we've just discovered why Caltech is based in Florida. Next, I'm buying Glock to put the finger grooves back in. What do you think? Should Glock have stayed with the finger grooves? Or do you like the more like clean aesthetic that they've got going on now? If you prefer the finger grooves, you should definitely subscribe because we are your kind of people. And if you hate finger grooves, well, <laughs> you definitely need to subscribe because my brother in Christ, finger grooves are the way. Next, I'm buying Benelli and making the M1014 affordable. Listen, I can't do miracles, okay? I really need a Benelli M4. I don't know if you guys want to see that on the channel or not, but I've wanted a Benelli M4 since fucking Zombieland came out. Plus, I think it'll uh, make a fine addition to my collection. But overall, what do you guys think about Elon taking over Twitter? Personally, I don't see how Twitter can get much worse, so I'm open to the change. That being said, I've actually enjoyed Twitter recently, especially after the Elon announcement, because watching the blue hair meltdown has been fucking hilarious. If you'd like to follow my shenanigans over there, I am at the AK guy over on Twitter. Wouldn't suggest following if you're sensitive, because I am not. Speaking of not being sensitive, coming around and biting somebody in the ass, I got banned from Instagram recently. Yeah, they gave me the big Zuck Zuck 9000. So I was having a pretty good night. I was streaming with Ricada Law, and all of a sudden I get a text message from my buddy that my Instagram account was down. It hasn't happened to me in like three years, so I'm like, okay, well, I can handle this. Logged into the company account, the AK Guy Inc. About 12 hours later, that was also gone. Brandon Herrera, Instagram, the AK Guy Inc. Instagram again. I will say a very heartfelt thank you to my industry friends and colleagues who helped spread the word uh, that I had uh, lost my account. Donut Operator, Grand Thumb, Lucas Bodkin, Mr. Guns and Gear, and, and to everybody else, thank you so much. It did not go unnoticed, except for the times when I was not able to log into Instagram. But real talk, it's very cool that the gun creators kind of have that sense of community. Uh, when one of our own goes down, uh, we, we try to help spread the word and get their shit back. We know that if nobody speaks up for them, when they go down, then nobody's gonna speak up for us. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys very much. Uh, you know that I would do the same for you, and unfortunately, on a few occasions, I've had to do the same for some of you. But the point is, after a day or two, in the help of a couple of wonderful people, I'm back, bitches! Return of the King indeed, I'm back on Instagram until the next time I get zucked. Which may be soon. Who knows? And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. But big thanks again to everybody who helped me out with that whole situation, but more gun memes are ahead. And to kick that off, a Marty Robbins meme. You put that damn thing back where it came from, boy, I mean it. I swear to fucking cowboy Christ, you see this fucking big iron, you're gonna go from Texas red to Texas dead. I swear this thing's just begging for a Hank Hill read. 
You put that damn thing back where it came from, boy. I mean it. You're gonna go from Texas Red to Texas Dead, boy. Marty Robbins got that propane money. Keep it in a safe, bitch. And if you don't get that joke, once you're done with this video, Google Hank Trill, and uh, you will not be disappointed. Now here we have less of a meme, but just a really funny comment from uh, Forgotten Weapons. The ergonomics of this gun are such that I am reasonably confident that the organism which designed it had heard a brief verbal description of a human before. He was excited about the prospect of actually seeing one someday. Yeah, turn it century firearms are kind of wild, man. These days everybody complains that all guns look the same. That's because we've pretty much figured out what works for, you know, human ergos. Back in the day, everything looking the same was not a fucking problem, I'll tell you that. I don't know, as weird as they were, I think old designs are pretty fucking cool. I, I love learning about them. And if you like learning about stuff like that, and you want to maybe get into gunsmithing, or think you could even design something better than this, not hard, <laughs> it's worth looking into SDI. They're a friend of the channel and a great place to look into if you're looking to get a start in gunsmithing, but don't really know where to turn. So go ahead and check them out in the links in the description or in the pinned comments, Sonoran Desert Institute or SDI.edu. So in other news, Garantham had an oopsie. Okay, well, not exactly. All right, while it's funny to say that because it's a funny clip out of context, he was actually doing a frozen pistol test and, uh, you know, putting up a bunch of handguns up against each other as to how they did in cold weather conditions. The look of surprise was because while a lot of, you know, very nice, reliable handguns failed this test, the M&P actually fired. And you know what that means. M&P number one. Well, no. Uh, <laughs> While I don't mind the M&P, uh, it's, I'm kind of in the same boat as Grand Thumb. I carry a Glock, I, I enjoy the Glocks very much. I don't really, you know, I don't mind the M&P, but it's, you know, this is kind of an exotic test. As they denoted, probably just differences in the trigger mechanism allowed it to actually fire in, you know, literally frozen conditions. But the means, you're dry fire training in your room. Suddenly your ears are ringing. There's a hole in the wall. Sure wouldn't know any friends of mine who've done that. Seriously, dry fire training is awesome. I don't personally do enough of it. I really should do more. Just make sure you triple check your chambers, please. Especially if you're, for example, living in my house. My new super hot girlfriend. I love going to the range with you, baby, but this plate carrier is getting heavy. I'm gonna take it off for a bit. She pulls the plate carrier off over her head. Her shirt starts to come off with it. FBI badge dangling from a lanyard just below the bra. Not gonna lie, they probably had you in the first half. That, my friend, is when you realize that you not only fell for, but Olympic dived into the honeypot. Although this could present a great opportunity. Say nothing at the time, and then later on you could provide her with some false information that's just really funny. Like this, meaning anything other than okay. Just do enough weird stuff like that, and you might get your own CNN feature. The look you give your buddy after he convinces you to shoot one of his new low-quality handguns and end up riding the lightning when the piece of shit has a runaway. No shit have done that before. When just as good turns into a little too good. It's like a would you press the button situation. Unintentionally having a super cheap machine gun, you don't get to decide when it stops. Everyone arguing about Grantham's multiple ice tests. People smart enough to not live in the fucking cold. Gun means. As somebody getting paid to sit here in the state of Texas and talking about gun memes, this is fairly relatable. You know, all these gun memes have me wondering how our boy Kyle is doing. Turns out our boy Kenosha Kyle is doing great. Even recently photographed at a party at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> My mans is sweat. Kyle Rittenhouse, a man of impeccable trigger discipline and eye discipline. The media, Hunter's laptop. You know, uh, the Hunter Biden laptop thing that would get you deplatformed for talking about beforehand because it was a fringe conspiracy theory that now has been confirmed to be completely true. Yeah, that election was fun, huh? Man, it sure is a wonder I keep getting banned from social media platforms. But if the photos from Hunter Biden's laptop confirm anything, he is perfectly qualified for a position at Caltech R&D. I swear to God, I'm gonna stop making that joke. Russian paratroopers getting ready to drop, knowing damn well the local school's mascot is the Wolverines. Everything's fine. That photo's great. That is my boy Donut being woken up for the 19th time uh, while he was taking a sketchy flight uh, back to see his son from a private pilot by the name of Crash. Yeah, his name was Crash. At a certain point, I guess you just run out of adrenaline and embrace death as a friend. But speaking of Wolverines, 
when you fall asleep in Ukraine, but wake up in Russia. Guess what, boyo? You're doing goon shit, whether you like it or not. Speaking of liking it or not, I'm still doing these memes two and a half months into the invasion. Nightmare. Mom, can we have Garantham? No, we have Garantham at home. Garantham at home. All right, all right, be kind to my body administrative results, all right? While very few men can compare to Garantham, behind that balaclava is a beautiful, beautiful human, I promise you. Tell you what, if this video can get 69,000 likes because funny number, we'll have administrative results here on the channel, even if I have to kidnap him, which I'm not above doing. Watching the homie decide to go all in and buy a transferable machine gun. Go on, you fiscally irresponsible king, you. Which, to be fair, is that really fiscally irresponsible? Because I'm pretty sure transferable machine guns are a better investment than the fucking stock market right now. And a way better investment than the US dollar. But anyhow, I think that's a pretty good place to call it for this episode of Gun Meme Review. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being totally fucking awesome and for staying to the end of this video. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube motherfuckers in the next video. Thanks, guys. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put things right to the top But I can't let you can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop I was having a good night, I was streaming with Ricade a lot, and I get a text message that my Instagram account was taken down. I don't know why William Shatner had that line. <laughs>